Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you very, very much for tuning in to another episode of Ark Scorched Earth with me, Squidgemeister. And now, as the title would suggest, I'm going to show you how to get from the green obelisk to this metal node cluster, which is very good, very useful. I have actually recorded this already today, and the quality wasn't good enough on my audio. I've got a bit of a sore throat, I do apologise. While we're here, I'll show you guys my base, I hope you do like it. I think it's pretty cool, I think it's pretty cool. And there's all sorts of rexes and things here, we've been breeding them. And all cool dinos, I'll have it like the saddles. Been a while, painting those up. That's Kim's house, it's pretty cool. So this is a green obelisk, you must know this well. If, you, if you're if you looking at this video, perhaps you want to know where the metal is nearby. And now it's not massively near. There are obviously metal nodes scattered around, but the special thing about this one is that there are four in very close proximity to each other, so you're able to harvest them with extreme efficiency. And because you can't get Quetzals on this map, you can't do the simple Quetzal metal farming trick. So this makes it much easier to gather a large amount of metal in a very short time. And now if you watch where I'm flying, I'm flying over the land route that you can take. If you want to walk here on, on an Ankylosaurus, or if you want to bring some carnivorous dinosaur to defend it, then you can follow this route exactly and you'll be able to make it up here. There's also a little land passage if you're coming out from the desert as well. And you can just come straight up here, around this corner. And we're nearly there. Now you can see I've already built this. I did actually build this up whilst recording and show you guys. But unfortunately, as I say, the audio wasn't good enough. Now this is where the cluster of, of nodes is. This is the only place I've seen these cluster of nodes on this side of the map. So this is exactly where we are. Looks as though that is actually slightly off as we're clearly on the northern side of this bridge. Okay, but that's where they are. And as I say, this is the only cluster of metal nodes I've seen on this side of the map. Obviously in the western mountains there are many more, but over here yeah, that's a kind of useful thing to have. And now, the one thing I didn't have in the previous video was an industrial forge, but I do have that now, so we're going to place that right here. And eventually I will get a ceiling going in here too, to protect us from the elements. And by the way, Rexes can walk through dino gates. And just to let you know what my, my routine is, I, I use the Anki, run over, get all the metal, all three of those nodes at once without having to move, then put all the weight on this Rex and walk the wrecks over into here and I've been filling this up with metal. That was one run and I got 2,000. So guys, let's place this industrial forge together. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, I want to get this quite right. I don't want it to not look good because these are very, very expensive. I shan't be able to replace it after it's done. So that's roughly where with that wall. Um, it probably needs to rotate slightly to the right, but I can't be bothered to do that. So let's just place that there. And there you go, guys. Perfect. And now I didn't bring any gasoline because, again, I'm a bit stupid. But here we are. Let me give you an aerial shot just as an outro. This is a very short episode. I hope you don't mind. I've got a bit of a holy throat and uh, not feeling so great. So. This is right where it is guys, it's really easy to find, it's probably the best spot for metal in significant range. You can see where the Argy's beak is, there's some water right there. There's also an oasis, again, right there where the Argy's beak is, there's a cluster of trees, there's some water down there too. Those are the only nearby water spots that I have found. Possibly even equidistant to some of the river that runs along here too. So, I hope that's useful to you. If it is, please do hit the like button and feel free to subscribe, check out some of my other videos. Hopefully we'll see you on the channel again. And that's goodbye from <laughs> Ridgemeister, that's me, and Pikachu, I didn't show you actually, on my back, just chilling out. And of course, Llama, the Argentalis. Alright guys, I've blathered it on for long enough. Take it easy.